Alright everyone and welcome to the Highland Collector YouTube channel, the newly redesigned Highland Collector YouTube channel might I add. So as many of you probably know Hasbro PulseCon will be taking place in about a week's time, maybe even less than that depending on when this video goes live. But PulseCon 2022 is scheduled for two days running from September 30th to October 1st. And if you're unaware of what PulseCon is, it's essentially a small convention Hasbro holds once a year where they show off new figures and upcoming releases for all their different brands including Marvel Legends, G.I. Joe, Transformers and the rest. But here on this channel we only care about one thing, Star Wars, primarily Star Wars Black Series. As today in this video I'll be trying to predict what Black Series figures I think Hasbro will reveal on October 1st, as that's when they plan to reveal all the Star Wars stuff. Now I have done videos like this in the past, in fact the last one I did was back in April for Star Wars Fan First Wednesday, and admittedly my predictions were not great whatsoever. I believe I only got one right. So please don't take this video too seriously. These are only figures I think Hasbro will reveal. Keep it in mind nothing I say is official or definitive, it's just speculation. However, there are a lot of Black Series rumours out there currently, so I am expecting some amazing things. So without further ado, let's get into my predictions. Starting with Return of the Jedi's 40th anniversary figures, which I believe have a really high chance of being revealed at PulseCon, and I'd honestly be surprised if they were not shown off, as a big celebration like PulseCon would be a perfect way to officially show off these figures, and build hype for the anniversary of the greatest Star Wars film to date. So we know that there are currently two waves of carded figures that are set to release in 2023, as Hasbro has teased the characters we're going to get as pipeline figures, back during their San Diego Comic Con 2022 presentation. And recently we did have the exclusive 40th anniversary Retro Admiral Akbar officially revealed by Hasbro, and in addition to this the carded deluxe Boba Fett who will be a part of the first wave was leaked. So to me this is strong evidence to support the idea that Hasbro is getting ready to reveal these figures soon. Now there were rumours of a third wave of Jedi figures, but at the moment we only have solid confirmation of the first two waves. So if Hasbro were to officially reveal the turn of Jedi figures I'd imagine we'd only get the first two waves which you already know about. So joining the previously mentioned Deluxe Boba Fett in the first wave will be a repack of Endor Leia and also Endor Han, Skiffguard Lando, a Scout Trooper and finally the long overdue Wicket W Warwick. And in the second wave we'll see a new Deluxe Endor Rebel Soldier, as well as repacks of Bib Fortuna, Chewbacca, a Stormtrooper, Palpatine and also Paplu the Ewok. Now to me this is a pretty decent lineup. Sure we've seen the majority of these figures before, some a bit too much therefore meaning a lot of these reveals won't be mind-blowing, but the fact we're getting an Endor Rebel Soldier and Wicket fully makes up for it, as Wicket has been my most wanted figure for years now, and I can't believe it's taken Hasbro almost a decade to make him, but I'm just thankful a Wicket figure is actually happening, as Ewok representation in the Black Series has been severely lacking, which is why I'm also hyped to finally get a solo release of Paplu 2, as previously he was exclusive to that Heroes of Endor exclusive multi-pack, so it will definitely be nice to have an easy way to get him as he's missing from my collection, now that does it for the return of the Jedi 40th anniversary figures, but Hasbro did also reveal some more pipeline figures at San Diego Comic Con, which I think have a pretty decent shot at being revealed at PulseCon this year. Now there are three figures with the first two being believed to be part of the Book of Boba Fett line, and the first one is a new Mandalorian with the Darksaber, and apparently this isn't just a repack of the typical Mandalorian book with the Darksaber thrown in as well, which we feared Hasbro might do, but in fact this version is meant to have all new tooling, which is actually great news, as now there's actually a reason to buy this figure. Now the second character also teased is from the Book of Boba Fett as well, and it's Black Chrysanthemum, a character who made his Black Series debut earlier this year in the comic book line, and that figure, well, let's just say it's in strong contention for the worst Black Series figure of the year. I mean, honestly, it's god-awful, but hopefully Hasbro can redeem themselves, as it's believed this figure is going to be newly sculpted, and not just a repaint of the Chewbacca figure, to better represent his look from the Book of Boba Fett. And if done right, I think this figure has the chance of being absolutely amazing. Sure, it will most likely be deluxe, but hopefully we get molds that will actually make this character look bigger and broader, as well as amazing paint apps and also a couple cool accessories as well. Like, I'm expecting a second pair of hands which has his knuckle dusters built into them. If Hasbro do all of that, this figure is sure to blow that other shitty one out of the water, and I reckon everyone who actually bought that original Black Chrysanthemum will be kicking themselves. And the final pipeline figure is from Attack of the Clones and it's the long awaited Kiadi Mundi, as he was expected to release sometime this year along with Ayla Secura, but we still haven't seen him. Which is why I believe he will be revealed at PulseCon this year along with Chrysanthemum and Mando. Now it isn't confirmed but there is a chance that these three figures could conclude Wave 35 of the Black Series, which is expected to release in March 2023. And I'd say there's a decent chance of these three joining the Wave because there's three spots left. And the three figures already a part of the wave being the fourth sister, Imperial Tala and Obi-Wan and Kenobi Jabim, are all yet to be shown off fully. So it is possible Hasbro could reveal the whole wave during PulseCon. Keep in mind Kiadi Mundi, Chrysanthemum and Mando might not be a part of this wave, it's just a theory I have. And these missing figures could all be from the new Andor show. As there is a Cassian Andor in an Imperial uniform, which has been rumoured, yet it's unsure if he's going to be an exclusive or not. 
So if this is the case, those pipeline figures will most likely find a home in Wave 36, along with Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight and also HK-87. However, at the moment it does look like the Andor figures will be in Wave 36, as four are rumoured to be in it. However, this is all subject to change. But moving on, I also think we're going to get some more comic book figures revealed as well, because there's two currently rumoured. The first being the Stormtrooper Mick from Scar Squadron, who will go well with Sergeant Krell who joined the Black Series earlier this year. Now Mick is the Stormtrooper with the blue visor, which I think will look really nice, especially if it glows in the dark, that would be incredible. But it does look like Hasbro is planning to make all of Scar Squadron now. They're not characters I know too much about, but I do think they look really cool, it's always nice to get these weird Stormtrooper variants. Now Mara Jade, the wife of Luke Skywalker in Legends anyway, has also been teased as well, as Jackface posted this image onto his Instagram page, showing a picture of the Emperor's Hand, which is a title of a comic she appeared in. So we'll most likely get a Mara Jade figure based on her appearance from that comic, and not her regular classic outfit. Which may not be ideal to some, but I'm sure fans of Legends are just happy we're getting this figure in the Black Series regardless. So I think there is a good chance that these two comic book figures will be revealed during PulseCon. However, in a typical comic book wave there are normally four figures, and hopefully we find out who these two missing characters are at PulseCon if Hasbro actually decide to reveal them. Now I'd like to talk about the gaming greats next because Hasbro normally reveals some of them during these events. Because it's such a big line that incorporates a lot of Star Wars properties. One of which being the Knights of the Old Republic, which is a fan favourite game. And one I personally haven't played just because I'm not too into gaming. However, one day I'm sure I'll find the time to sit down and finally play it properly. But anyway, there are two Knights of the Old Republic figures confirmed to be joining the gaming greats line soon. Those being Darth Malak as well as Bastila Shan. And even though, like I said, it's not a game I'm too invested in, I have to admit these two figures will most likely turn out really cool. Malak in particular, as I've always really liked his design. And whilst I don't know too much about Shan, apart from that she's what Rey should have been, it will be cool to finally get yellow bladed lightsabers in the Black Series. And these two should go great with Zalba and the Archive Revan too. Furthermore, another gaming greats figure we could potentially see revealed is Scorch from Republic Commando, and he's the last member of Delta Squad to join the Black Series. Now I have played Republic Commando, and if you have watched the channel at all, you most likely know about my detest for these Delta Squad figures Hasbro has been making. I just really don't like them, so unfortunately I'm not too hyped for this reveal of Scorch, who will most likely have all the same problems that the previous air quote clone commandos air quote had. I'm not going to bore you by going over why I personally dislike these figures again, but if you want to know my gripes please go and watch this video I made on the topic. Then again I do know a lot of people really enjoy these figures so I'm happy you'll finally have a full Delta Squad in your collection, but I do think it's really likely we will see Scorch at PulseCon, especially because he may have been teased on the artwork for another Gaming Greats figure. That's all my predictions for Gaming Greats but we're going to stay on exclusive figures for now, because at San Diego Comic Con Hasbro revealed two exclusive Halloween figures, those being the Werewookie and also the Skeleton Clone Trooper, definitely not the Skull Trooper from Fortnite. Now I think these figures look cool and they're definitely inoffensive, but they're not something I'd buy or add to my collection, unless I saw them for really cheap. But the reason I bring them up is because there's actually a rumoured third figure to be joining this set, and because the Star Wars reveals are happening in October, the spooky season, I think it would be fitting for Hasbro to reveal this final figure, and we don't know who it is as of yet, and I don't really know what it could be, there's nothing I particularly want, although maybe a vampire Palpatine could be cool, or Palpatine as Frankenstein, but then you'd need Vader as Frankenstein's monster, and there's only one figure rumoured, but then again it should be interesting to see what Hasbro has in store for us. Now finally I just want to talk about the Bad Batch Season 2, because it is confirmed we will be getting updated figures of all the main Bad Batch members in their Season 2 uniforms. Now these will most likely just be a standard repaint because there's not too much difference between the Season 1 and Season 2 looks of the characters, and we could see these revealed at PulseCon, however the Bad Batch Season 2 premiere has been moved from September to January. So if Season 2 was still coming out when it was scheduled to, I think we would have seen these figures revealed, however I think Hasbro will hold off for now. But I could be completely wrong and we could see these figures revealed as soon as PulseCon. In addition to this, Tales of the Jedi is coming out later this year, so we could potentially see a few figures based on that. A young Dooku would be incredible. But I don't think anything has been rumoured for that yet, although it would be a really nice surprise if Hasbro were to make figures based on this new series. Now there is a really small chance we could see figures for Mandalorian Season 3 and also Ahsoka, however I think it's way too soon for that as figures for those shows will most likely reveal when the shows are coming out, as The Mandalorian will have its Bring Home the Bounty and Ahsoka will have an equivalent. And one more thing we could see is not actually a figure but a helmet, as it's been rumoured for a long time that a Phase 1 clone helmet is in the works. And I know a lot of people, including myself, are really hyped to see it, so hopefully it is revealed during PulseCon. And I think it will be just to give the Star Wars reels a bit of variety so it's not just action figures. 
So with that being said, they're all my predictions for Hasbro PulseCon 2022. Let me know down below in the comments whether or not you agree with me and that we're actually going to see these figures revealed, or if I've got my expectations way too high again. But anyway, let me know what you want to see revealed, not just for Star Wars, but for any Hasbro merchandise. I'm personally really excited for the Indiana Jones reveals. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.